exactly and this is the same question well actually we have just finished a program uh, with the fund or the agency so it was not loans, it was a donation or a grant from the social fund and the bank. And uh, this was for creating jobs. And we tried our best uh, to, uh, of course, uh, respond to the targets of employment we have in the incubator. Uh, also, which is the social enterprises. Uh, we also have uh, partnership projects, and most of them focus on uh, employment and helping and assisting youth uh, uh, to uh, reach the market in a constructive way. Uh, this is one of our success, this program. Uh, when we started working with the fund, we were very suspicious whether we can really go on with that. But actually, uh, definitely, we knew that uh, there might be uh, problems. But so we were a bit worried. Uh, but we it, it went uh, fine, and we recon we consider this a real success story. We were requested also to train about 1,200 women, uh, youth, uh, females, and males outside of Alexandria in major governed rates as youth, Minya. Suhag and Fayoum. We uh, just wanted to try with the uh, agency or the fund, so we've placed another component, why don't we put it? We wanted to know if the fund would uh, encourage uh, entrepreneurship, so we've put uh, the uh, 1,200, and we also put uh, forward uh, seven entrepreneurs who are delegated to find jobs for others. And uh, definitely, these were people from uh, marginalized uh, sectors. We convinced uh, the fund to try with this component that we presented. And the answer was that the more uh, diversity there is, education-wise and skills-wise, <clears throat> it will be good for us and as incubators to uh, help and I think that uh, that was very good that the fund accepted uh, or the agency accepted uh, our project. And we wanted to create from three to ten jobs, and even we went higher than that. <clears throat> I'm sure that the, there are other uh, job opportunities that have been created. And all the uh, uh, job opportunities, of course, there were social insurance contract uh, uh, and a minimum salary of 1,200, all went uh, well. And that is uh, our experience success story with the uh, fund or the agency. As to the ITC, we were uh, starting to work uh, with them, but we couldn't because after we filled uh, out the application, and there was this uh, taxation ID, and you know we were not able to bring it. Uh, at the same time, they uh, wanted this, so there were some problems with the ITC system. And this is an important point because a lot of training sessions are conducted through societies and they reach targeted uh, groups so we hope that when you put the restructuring please try to work it out uh, to uh, facilitate some of the paper procedures that's all what i have uh, to say dr hania shalani we are waiting we are waiting for her
I have two questions uh, concerning, first, the successful projects, and uh, if you can share your experience with us, this would be great. The second thing are the problems faced uh, by women when they start or try to get into entrepreneurship. Please present yourself. Senior uh, gender advisor in USA project. I'm working for women mainly, especially uh, for women who are starting entrepreneurs or those who are skilled. A lot of problems, actually. We know that there are a lot of problems, the first of which is uh, mobility because some uh, women, uh, you know, couldn't move uh, or be mobile, but now it's this problem is solved. Uh, mobility is solved, but they are not having enough access to information. I think this is a problem. Whether this applies to uh, a young lady for startups or an old lady for business, they still have some problems about information concerning information accessibility. Sometimes they don't know exactly what are the services provided, and also some problems with the know-how. How can they make use of these opportunities? So, for example, some girls. The, there was an exhibition recently by one of the ministries, and the products were really good and could be exported. But some uh, women didn't have any idea about how to get into the export channels. They don't know how to. They didn't know how to do it. I'm not speaking only about export, uh, but. Some people wanted to be registered. They don't know how to do it. Some women want some work with banks, but all women are scared of banks. It's not only financial literacy. It's not only uh, financial literacy to encourage women to deal with banks, but that's not enough because we we don't have they don't have enough trust in the banks. Uh, uh, they are not sure she will be uh, dealt with in a good way if she takes money from the bank. They are always suspicious of what banks can uh, do to harm them. Sometimes there is I, I know I admit there is some misunderstanding. And there are some problems where they can ac access the resources and the services. Of course, also in Upper Egypt, the non-financing services is not that uh, wide. I, I just want to seize this uh, chance and say that the project started through the support and help of a lot of agencies, out which, of course, the fund is one, and the National Council for Women, and uh, a lot of uh, women uh, business associations, and the Federal uh, uh, of Egyptian Federation of Egyptian Industries. We started the first uh, network of Egyptian uh, entrepreneurs uh, uh, in Egypt. We, uh, this network has a very good objective. The objective is that this network will have all the civil societies, the women entrepreneurs, and all the agencies who are the service providers. All of them are found in this network in a streamlined structure where opportunities and channels uh, are opened for different uh, opportunities for women. The, uh, my, my second request is that the manual itself, we want to see if this could be put online so that uh, we all have access to this and make use, we can make use of it. 
uh, there is a platform going on for SMEs, that's very, uh, that would be fine if uh, this would be one of our resources where we can enhance training and uh, support the know-how for the users. So we have a Facebook page and there is a website. So you can consider that very soon this will be online. Thank you. With a GIZ, and the program is reforming the uh, the. Uh, administration of water. We are working with the Ministry of Agriculture. I'm so pleased with all the offers that are presented now. I think that uh, we can add uh, some experiences concerning electricity. Uh, we had a guide or a new approach for electricity together uh, with the uh, adult learning uh, centers, the San Maomar. It's uh, already uh, authorized and validated, and it is uh, uh, directed to rural women where we have 60 more than 60 percent illiteracy rate in uh, rural areas I'll be very happy if we uh, coordinate and work together in this uh, guide um, and because we don't only we don't only deal with reading and writing for ladies or for women but we uh, teach her things about agribusiness and things that will enable and empower her to make use of uh, uh, the certain crops to uh, go with another industry. And of course, this would uh, encourage a woman uh, at the very end uh, to go with some minor feasibility studies that she can undertake herself she starts uh, to really and this is the real issue that she works with the feasibility studies herself and then she uh, comes up with uh, minor projects to start so i'll be very uh, happy if we try to exchange our experience and viewpoints concerning this uh, how, how how many months six months the uh, please I hope that you would uh, log on to the Facebook page and send us uh, the link through email so that we can just place it there. The ECS and Canada, uh, the, we, uh, the ECS is conducting the uh, project and the product, but if you give us links, we shall definitely uh, include them so that people would log onto the link so probably the ECS and Canada and Canadian uh, embassy, we are not exclusively dominating this, but we are allowing anyone to uh, send the feedback. Uh, my question is that are these uh, opportunities uh, presented only uh, to people who uh, do uh, or who had already uh, finances? because we work with the women and they all request this of us. So my question, and of course, uh, concerning Nadat El Maharusa, there is a point concerning the entrepreneurship. Uh, <clears throat> because what we do is really connected and with the environment where the lady uh, or where the women live. Sometimes if tourism is not picking up, uh, we uh, teach uh, her uh, how she can avoid any harm to the environment. And maybe I'll put this idea and we can communicate with each other. As to the services presented from the fund, uh, immediately we have un uh, unrelated services. So we can some people would like to take packages. Some other people would like to take only one thing. So uh, we don't have any conditions concerned. I hope I've answered your question. We are going to uh, just have one more question and then go to Dr. Rania. I'm Hanin from AYB. 
علشان نكيا بلدي for you my country coat one of the main problems that we encounter concerning uh, girls entrepreneurship uh, girls is that the empowering uh, of the family really makes a difference support from the family and understanding on the part of the family is, was very important when they are opened up to women uh, entrepreneurship that helps a lot so most of the families uh, agree to the fact that their daughter is being employed but when it comes to entrepreneurship it becomes very difficult for uh, the family to uh, accept that the woman would stay home and start to manage uh, sometimes uh, uh, laborers and do things like men. So that was really very important to socialize and give an ongoing push to the family to be able to enhance and uh, empower the uh, women to do her own business and to sort of uh, um, back her up in this uh, also centralization was another problem the centralization concerning uh, the raw materials where the girl uh, which the girl uses to present her product in Egypt and of course this was one of the very important stumbling blocks to any project like if she's in Minya or she's in Asyut she has to go to Minya uh, she has to go to Cairo to get the raw materials so uh, we wanted uh, this was one of the main Major problems actually uh, to travel and to go and you know uh, that was very important uh, problem uh, one of the very important successful uh, projects is you know projects that have to do with women accessories and things that are easy for the girl to undergo at home uh, and things that do not require mobility and of course this enables girls with potential um, to for example work on a certain machine or craftsmanship and uh, sometimes women think that they have to uh, seek the help of men uh, in certain tasks. Uh, so uh, it would be a good idea if we start uh, getting women to uh, and enhance them in uh, their projects. Dr. Anya, uh, you are most welcome. Thanks for coming. I know uh, that uh, you, we made you suffer because you were at the AUC having a lecture and then you came directly after the lecture. And uh, this was from the new Cairo uh, till here. Uh, Dr. Hanya al Shalami, she is uh, working at the Center for Social Research. She has a lot of experience in the social protection issues. She has uh, designed uh, the money transfers, the government money transfers, like the Kefal and Karoma. She made the design of the program. And she uh, was the, the regional coordinator uh, for women in cooperation with uh, the institute in Britain. And she is uh, the assistant professor at um, the social science at the AUC. And her interest includes uh, the reproductive health and uh, health for women. And um, she is um, a visiting professor to Beirut University and the Arab Gulf in Bahrain and Yale uh, American and other uh, universities. Uh, she also had a PhD from the Faculty of Economics and Political Science. Uh, so we uh, had presented uh, this manual and its components and that is uh, treating the information gap for the women and we are trying to publish it uh, to use it and you are the last speakers to please tell us uh, the importance of this manual from your viewpoint and what are the problems uh, suffered by the women in the empowerment of economy uh, thank you dr abla and i'm really sorry but i finished my lecture at one uh, so as uh, it's just that uh, it's the traffic. Uh, I know that I am at the end of the session, so I will not be lengthy. I have two things uh, specifically to say. 
At first, I'd like to thank uh, the ECES and all the people, organizers of this manual, because uh, whenever there is an, uh, a material written, uh, uh, other than being attractive, uh, but just being something physical that is written, this will enable women and men not only to use it, but also to use it in a good way or correct it. So there should be something physical that we can discuss. The women can see it and see this needs, uh, this and, um, and this. So the effectuating of the idea, we need to draft it in a way that is easy and accessible to the people. So the idea of the manual, other than and I heard that it's a very good manual. Someone told me that it is very good manual, but also the idea that it is accessible, that's very good. As to the other thing that I wanted to, 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 to talk with you about is uh, what do we need? What is missing? I think that by effectuating or activating the role of women as an entrepreneur or producer uh, or having an entity in the economic aspect, we need to reconsider in drafting the public services system and the services that are directed to women and men so that it uh, copes with this rule. Um, in a nutshell, if uh, things went well, uh, we start to work on the system of protection for mothers, the maternity benefits. Uh, we all know that uh, the aspects uh, of formal work uh, say that the woman, when she is pregnant or uh, she is um, getting a baby, she uh, has the right of having a maternity leave and to have a protection like uh, fun, money protection and medical protection. This is one of the human rights all uh, over the world, even uh, if we are a country who have the overpopulation. But when the woman practices her right to be a mother, her right, especially if she is a working man, is to have a services system. This is something um, not well. Maybe we will say it's a problem that the private sector gives the little vacations and the businessmen don't like the women to work. This is something, but the something which is uh, a shame that all the workers in the informal sector or seasonal sector or those who are working for themselves, they don't have this simple right. So I'm giving this an example that this is a long discussion and there's a field, a very big field of work. To read the design, the general public services like insurance, pension, cash transfers, but also, well, not only that, but the health services, uh, educational services, training services, and retraining services to contain the role of women as an interpreter and as a worker so that we enhance uh, her role. Uh, the center here took a very important step in uh, informational accessibility. Uh, informational accessibility is a major principal step, but there are other um, uh, information accessibilities like uh, uh, making uh, the uh, the employing uh, the employer understand his role toward his workers uh, concerning education uh, training and so on so uh, the woman interpreter doesn't only uh, need this information to be successful but should also be uh, an owner uh, of a certain work who uh, and uh, and being able to enhance the capabilities of uh, her employees 
and that's uh, exactly what I said in the beginning, that we should redesign uh, all these circumstances to be compatible with the work itself. Because unfortunately, uh, if we look into the educational framework, can, do we find that it's related to the market needs? I don't think it is. If we look into the health services, uh, either from the point of view of uh, health insurance or public service, it, it, does it empower uh, or is compatible with the needs. What if we look into the pension uh, and other sort of insurance services? This all should be uh, reviewed to uh, enhance the role of social uh, protection in a way that would be compatible to the uh, labor uh, market. That's the, um, the the main objective for all these uh, concepts. And you know, aside from the health services or the health arena, uh, there are other areas uh, to be enhanced. Uh, for example, We try to uh, just list the negatives of smoking for men and all these things and for women. All these services uh, should be enhanced in order to uh, to enhance uh, the health well-being of uh, other uh, people or of workers. Uh, this all should be a domain for the Egyptian women interpreter. Uh, so that she would understand her rights and the rights also of people uh, working with her. The, any woman does have all the right to have maternity leave for breastfeeding and so on. That's not trivial. That's really good because this enables her to be in good health. That would uh, empower her to get back into work in the first shape and also having time to uh, uh, nurture her children and uh, do whatever it takes to, to lead a good life uh, and to have extra payment for this. I think that's my hope at the very end. Uh, to uh, to to know or to have hope that uh, uh, the uh, state would help uh, the women entrepreneur to uh, really be uh, best in their fields. Well, let's say uh, let's see how your project will enable all these people to do whatever it takes. But there's an important point also. This important point is concerning cash uh, transfers. The system needs a lot of improvement to make sure that uh, the cash transfer goes to the right uh, people and well and is well deserved. For example, uh, people with special abilities, they take money from the state and you know their first salary is a real trivial, it's something that is very little. Uh, so that, uh, you know, the point is that some of the handicapped or personal with uh, persons with uh, special uh, abilities uh, never want to stop uh, the help of the state uh, to them. So they start to transfer to the informal sector. And these are some of the very practical problems that we uh, encounter. So there must be a system, a corrective system uh, to put this into place. And they go, these uh, people in the informal sector, uh, they go uh, to other uh, places where they work without uh, uh, a tax uh, uh, ID, and therefore the Ministry of uh, Solidarity would refuse this because they request uh, a certain uh, tax uh, invoice. And then that's the point where we start to see people, you know, uh, manipulating the system or working around the system to, uh, to abuse the system. All these are problems that face women and men. Um, I think that this session or discussion uh, should stop now because we are going to have lunch. I require uh, and ask you to kindly wait for the lunch invitation and please, whoever is working in the ECS, please stand up 
and I think there are three uh, persons outside, uh, please give them a big, big applaud. They did whatever they can because ECS, uh, uh, they have a wonderful administrative and technical uh, uh, crew. I'm very proud actually of them. And uh, everything that we do is not a one man show. It's a team, 25 persons working in the team, working in the center, starting from the buffet uh, man to the uh, senior managers and even the executives to Miss Magda. Uh, is the uh, deputy executive manager passing, you know, getting along with all the technical uh, team. They uh, they take uh, very hard, painstaking effort to reach uh, whatever results. And I'm very proud of you. Thanks for listening in and thanks for your patience. I thank Dr. Abla for all her uh, observations. She has very uh, well documented points to help in enhancing the system. So let's give a big applause to Dr. Abla also.